Well, guys, here we are again, a day later, and another OpenCore Legacy Patcher update, 2.1.2. This is important because some people have been having problems with the latest 2.1.1 install. Personally, I have not been having problems, but, you know, one thing to talk about here is don't always just jump headfirst in to updating your open core. If it's working for you and the OS is working for you, there's no reason to just instantly update. Make sure you always have a lifeboat in that you need to have a backup. You need a bootable, supported, non-open core OS, whatever works with your Mac, so you can always get back to a boot screen. If open core screws up somehow, you're gonna be stuck if you don't have a backup. Always have a backup of your data and always have a bootable Mac drive. In my case, for like my Mac Pros, I always have a Mojave external disk that I can boot off of via USB 3, hold down the option key, boot into Mojave, and I'm back up and running, able to find out what issues I have or reinstall OpenCore if I need to, things of that nature. So that's just a lesson learned if you installed OpenCore and you wound up with a Mac that's not booting. Always have a backup for everything you do on a computer. OpenCore is like the Titanic. It's going into uncharted waters and you need that lifeboat just in case you hit that iceberg and your ship goes down. So as usual, we update the app, the download completed, and it's now installing the OpenCore Legacy Patcher app 2.1.2. You can see above where it says installing update that your previous version was 2.1.1. And once it's done installing the app update, it's gonna tell us we're done, and then it's gonna say, would you like to update OpenCore and your root patches? You say yes, and you install to disk. So right now it's rebuilding OpenCore, and then you install it to disk once it's done rebuilding it. And then we're gonna start our root patching. So we download the app, we update the app, we build and install OpenCore, and then we update our root patches. And then you are done and you reboot and hopefully all is good. But again, if things go belly up, you gotta have that backup plan. You know, if you're with an old Mac Pro 5.1, you might have to put your old GPU in there. That's why I installed Enabled GOP on my Mac Pro 5.1, because I get the native boot screen with my upgraded graphics card. Watch my video on that. If you have a Mac Pro 5.1, I highly recommend doing it. And uh, yep, that's about it. Another day, another OpenCore Legacy Patcher update. Seems they're coming out pretty often. And by the way, I had no problems with this update. And I'm on Sequoia 15.1. All right, thanks for watching, guys, and we'll see you on the next Max Sound Solutions video.